And good morning. It's in the wee hours, but uh, I stayed up a little late, and I'm glad that I did. I've been looking at uh, some stuff about the solar flare. Let's play the little movie, and I'll let you watch it. We apparently have had an X flare that is spewed out. Uh, we shouldn't go to pieces over it. I believe it's a 1.1. 1 .1. I think we've this will be the fifth one of the year. I believe we had a 5.4 already this year. But still, it's an X class. So well, let's take a look at it. When we get to the uh, point where it blew. I'll go ahead and step it frame by frame so you can get a good look at it. This will be starting on the day after 4th of July. Hope everybody out there is doing alright. It's been awful hot, at least here in Oklahoma. I'm having to work about a month of uh, overtime inside the shop and it seems to be just as hot inside within two degrees or so of what it is outside we're getting ready to come up on it so I'm getting ready to stop it for you I believe they said it was about there it is I believe they said it was about six o'clock central time my time and now we roll into today you can see it roll spew on out And we might have some, uh, you know, high latitude disruptions. X class is nothing to sneeze about. This is what they have over on Space Weather, how they describe it. They have their little video you can watch. They also, I, I, I'm not sure if they had what I just showed or not. I just brought this up right now to add to that film. I was talking about AR-1515. And they were thinking maybe it, it, was, you know, it might do something, and it did. You can come here and watch this if you want. goes on to say it appears to be heading south and away from us. I can't rule out a glancing blow on the 8th or the 9th. Let's see. Let's see. Guided toward Earth by solar magnetic field, the protons are peppering the satellites, causing snow and imaging and posing a slim threat for single event upsets, computer glitches. And then you've also, I've shown you these before. You can come here and play this one too. And, uh, you know, it goes on to say there were minor ones, not X's. And you can see the travel of it. According to the analysts at the Goddard Space Weather Lab, cloud will reach the Earth on the 7th. And we can come down here. And this is their forecast over on the left. Uh, 
updated on July the 6th. Now, your higher ones, you have a higher percentage. Let's go ahead while we're here. We'll see how we're doing on our earthquakes. From what I've seen, uh, we're not doing all together real bad. Seventh, you had the North Island, New, New Zealand had a five, Korea five two. Here is the New Ireland region of Papua New Guinea a five six, a five four in South Sandwich. Plenty of twos and threes. Here's the Korea four seven also. We did fall back into the sixth. And you can see we have a redder. Vanatau has 6.3. Chile, 5. Solomon Islands, 4.9. You don't see too much going on there, but Romania made the list with a 4.5. You have a southern island, South Island of New Zealand, a 4.8. And you also see plenty of four action. Fiji, four nine four seven. We can fall back even farther on the fifth. And you don't see a whole lot. These are islands in Japan, five one, five four in the Philippines. There's Ryukyu Islands in Japan, a four seven. Plenty of threes and twos. Falling backwards even more on to the 4th of July. We had a 5 1 in the Leeward Islands. Kermadex in New Zealand, 5 1. Darker print, higher fours. Here's the eastern New Guinea region and Papua New Guinea then on a 4 9. Chile, 4 7. Indonesia 4-6, the offshore Chile 4-6, Indonesia 4-5, Greece 4-8. Coming farther down, plenty of plenty of twos. Kareel 4-6, Papa 4-8. And as you can see, off the west coast of the North Island of New Zealand on the 3rd, the day before Independence Day, 6.2. So be aware, we did have some activity. That's all you can really do is be aware. Uh, the UV index, <coughs> at least where I'm at, is advisable to do the sunscreen if you're going to be out in it extended period and then they did have a little uh, little thing I saw in the news about the sunscreen how it was damaging people by using it I can't remember the brand right now but then you had a difference of opinion between does it or does it not damage people to use the sunscreen. It's kind of a danged if you do and danged if you don't, right? Well, I'm going to get some rest for a little while, but I wanted to make everyone aware. Uh, we did get an X. There may be a little bit of disruption. Give it a little shake and bake time. Might play into it a little higher magnitude of the earthquakes. As I said before, we shall see. So y'all be good. I'll be back on ooh, probably tonight.
I need to go over some things I'm looking at and see if I can find what I'm looking for. Until then, try to beat that heat.